Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Gala continues to be in this pattern we already discussed a few days ago. Um, I'm currently still watching for this move down here. I mean, what is important is that it's staying above the 3.3 cent level. Yeah, this is not to be underestimated. A break to the downside of that level will really challenge the overall bullish case for Gala. There is going to be one more bullish case left after we break below 3.3 cents. That would be this one, yeah, um, that the move down of the January high was just an A wave. This currently is some kind of a B wave, yeah, and then we come down in C. Problem here is it really needs to hold then 2.5 cents. Below 2.5, I'd be looking for new bear market lows, to be honest. We can still get a bit of up and down then, but eventually um, most of these one, two setups are failing below the 78.6 retracement. So two scenarios here, either we have our one, two setup that bottomed on the 10th of March, and this is another one, two setup, and we find support in the yellow box all the way down to 3.35 cents, and we'll then rally, or if we break below that, um, we've got um, our wave one into January and then an A wave down. All of this could be a B wave. There are very various possibilities. Um, could even be a triangle, that B wave, and then the C wave down. But that has to hold the 2.5 cent level. So they are two bullish scenarios below 2.5 cents. We have to become bearish on Gala. Um, or at least I will get much more concerned about new bear market lows. And at the moment, so far, Gala has failed to rally. It did react to these support areas that we had on the chart, but it failed to really rally in an impulse of those recent lows. And therefore, um, we have to give cons consideration to even lower levels here in the larger bullish scenario. So at the moment, it looks like this short-term downtrend that started on the 18th or 19th of April by the way, a very strong reversal that was. Um, this pullback doesn't seem to be finished yet. Always bear in mind, they can always surprise these coins, but um, the move, I, I at least don't have enough evidence to say it's over yet, okay? Um, again, what you need to remember, as long as we're holding that 3.3 cent level, the focus can be on higher. So it could start from here, it could start from a little lower. Support is certainly here. Yeah, Fibonacci support. 3.78 cents, 3.6, 3.35. They are relevant FIP levels with the golden ratio being a very important one at 3.6 cents. Um, also, we've got that previous swing low here about, uh, around 3.6 yeah, cents. Yeah, so very close to the golden ratio. So this is going to be support. We had support here as well on the 15th of March. So I think, you know, this is certainly some support. Um, I would say if we break above the recent swing high here, that would at least be a good start to say, okay, maybe a low is in, um, that would be at 4.3 cents. And then typically a break above a 50% retracement is already a good signal, or at least the first indication that a move down is over. And that would be the 4.4 cent level. However, um, it's not enough to say that the overall downtrend is over. And you know, we need some evidence for that. It's very choppy. Again, I said that now in many videos, as long as we don't have an impulse to the upside, I will assume we come down lower because the short term trend is down. I need to see an impulse to the upside. I haven't seen one yet. Um, again, also in this scenario now that we have on the chart, this move down could be a C wave, looks very impulsive, or um, in a WXY structure, this here might be an A wave. We get a B wave up and a C wave down. That's how I've labeled it for Solana, for example. So that's absolutely possible. So the move up may be a B wave, okay? Just be ready for that. Um, from that point of view, there's no point in doing a micro count here due to the uncertainty really that we have at the moment. The uncertainty still, you know, if I was still focusing here on the, well, if I was trading this, which I'm not actively at the moment, but if I was trading this, I would probably just scale in, start to scale in as we get closer to support. Um, key position size is reasonable. The stop um, should be obviously below the invalidation points um, if I was doing this and any upside could then be used for taking profits. So that, in my opinion, that's, that's the best uh, style to play this in an uncertain environment. 
because this clearly is still corrective, yeah, at the moment at least. Um, could be an ABC, could also be a WXY. I don't know, I can't predict that, nobody can. Um, it's just that obviously if we look at the indicators, we've been pretty much here in the oversold range on the four hour. Um, but on the daily chart, as you can see here, there is still space before coming down low. You know, we, we still have space before getting into the oversold region. And also the MACD is still on the daily in the negative, not reducing any negative momentum yet. So still increasing negative momentum. So from that point of view, my interpretation at the moment would be that this move down is not over yet. Um, also, um, it might be that we're just retesting those previous support levels as, as resistance before we continue with a further dip. But at the moment, overall, in my opinion, it's not in trouble yet. Yeah, We are still holding this support. And as long as we're holding support, the focus can be on higher. As closer or the closer we get to these support levels, the better the reward to risk ratio. Always keep that in mind as well. Okay, that's my update about Gala. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.